Welcome to the wonderful world of Stu. With us, uh, Randolph Henkin. He's the executive director of the Seasteading Institute. And Joe Quirk, writer for the Seasteading Institute and co-author of the upcoming book, Seasteading, How Ocean Cities Will Save the Environment, Feed the World, Cure Diseases, and Launch Millions Out of Poverty. Don't promise too much, Joe. I mean, uh, you don't want to oversell it. Uh, so this is a really interesting idea in a world where I don't think there's a lot of interesting ideas at times. Uh, tell me, give me the, you know, the, uh, the matchbook cover sort of version of Seasteading. Seasteading is the idea, it's a technology where people can go out into the ocean and make startup countries, startup governments. Uh, we're trying to offer people a new opportunity that we don't have anymore because all land is claimed. And I think that viewers of the Blaze are the perfect audience because they're looking for something new. They're frustrated. They know that we can't change Washington, but we could start fresh. And it's very possible it could happen today. Hmm. So it's almost like a nation fantasy league in a way. Like you're able to go out and create a place where you don't have to follow all the rules of the country you're in. You design your own. You think taxes are too high here, you make taxes lower in, in your seastead. Sure. Uh, Americans are generating thousands of, of ideas for how to live together. Uh, forcing our ideas through the bottleneck of the political process just isn't working. And we want to create uh, a forum, a market of different kinds of governments on the ocean uh, where people can try out their ideas and let's see what works. Well, the, um, the greatest commercial for seasteading was the 2012 election. Uh, so there's a lot of people in the Blaze audience that actually are like, wow, what can we do different? People always have their ideas of what they would change and what they'd like to do. So walk me through sort of pragmatically what this looks like. Is it a ship off the coast? Well, a ship would work. Uh, you could use a ship, you could use a barge, you could use a giant oil platform. There's lots of other neat ideas for engineering that are coming about. Uh, pragmatically, it's going to take incremental steps because it's going to cost so much. So we got to start small and grow. Um, and early on, we're going to take advantage of what exists in international laws. So you can be outside of one country's territorial waters while flagged under another country and get the uh, laws of a third country have contracts. And just by using these, this jurisdictional arbitrage, you'll be able to get advantages that we don't have on any land-based nation right now. Is this sort of what cruise ships do, essentially? Yes. Like, how does that work for them? Cruise ships have already uh, commandeered this space. They're already practically floating cities. They're the size of skyscrapers. Uh, about 10 million people a year uh, are ferried by cruise ships. That's the size of Sweden. Um, so they've already pretty much figured out how to play this jurisdictional arbitrage to their advantage. They hire from anywhere in the world, dock in one city, incorporate it in another. Uh, so they've already pioneered this space. Most people have friendly relationships with cruise ships. We can see this expanding into permanent settlements on the ocean. So this is really design your own country from constitution on up. You can do essentially whatever you want. Right. Is that right? Because exactly. I, mean, I think people would say, well, I mean, you're going to go out there, it's going to be the Wild West, and everyone's going to wind up, uh, there's going to be crime, is going to be rampant, and people are going to be stashing all sorts of illegal money over there. How do you I mean, I think this that? is just a big misinterpretation. I've noticed on the Blaze Network, uh, your friend Glenn Beck is promoting Independence USA. Yeah, yeah. But he wants to build it right here in Texas. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it might be a great state, but you still have to answer the same federal government. Yeah. The only way to really have an independent city mm -hmm. is going to be to go out and international Are you calling waters. out Glenn Beck on his network? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Because right, I'll bring him in here. He will fight you. All right, you're you're sitting in an, you're on an airplane, and uh, you have a nice seat. Kind of you got the, you got the exit row. You're on the end, and then you have the big fat guy that sits next to you, and he ruins your space. Like what happens when you've got this nice piece of real estate in the water in the blue frontier, and like Kim Jong Il pulls up next to you? How do you uh, you know it, it can get rough? I mean, your neighbors still count, right? Right. Um, early seasteads are probably pretty small. Um, they're going to be able to fend themselves off with basic home type protection. Mm -hmm. You're not going to want to be a bad neighbor and invite a Navy after you. Over time, these things are going to grow, and just like what happens in any place else in the world, they're going to have to deal with world diplomacy. Um, I don't think it's the biggest concern. I think the biggest concern right now for us is, you know, we're a nonprofit think tank. Yeah. We're trying to bring people to our movement. Um, Blaze viewers are the perfect people to come in and join the movement. Yeah, how do they get involved? Can you explain how that Well, they, they come to uh, seasteading.org. That's like homesteading, but on the ocean, seasteading.org. Um, they become a member. We're working on a project right now to try to uh, get a market for the first seastead mm -hmm. to be enabled. And if we get... Uh, you know, hundreds of people together, we'll be able to launch some in the next few years. Very cool. And I, I will tell you that I'm already planning uh, the wonderful world of Stu, uh, Seastead, uh, the first policy, first uh, amendment of the Constitution, universal tacos. Uh, so I'm just throwing it out there. That's coming to a Seastead near you.
Very cool. Uh, Randolph and Joe, uh, thank you very much. And this is really exciting. I hope we get to hear more about it. Thanks. Cool. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Let freedom float.